Hello and welcome back. So let's finish here the review that we're doing in optimization methods in, in Dakota and also the coupling with Dakota Open Fund. So we have covered a lot. And the last method that I want to cover is surrogate based optimization. So we co we cover many of Many of these methods, no, probably all of them, gradient-based, derivative-free, multi-objective optimization. And what we are missing is the surrogate-based optimization, which it is a mixture between you no know, sampling, you no know, design the space exploration, and any of the optimization techniques. So hopefully this won't be too long. And again, I just want to point out the documentation is, is it's really good. So here you can go to this table now that guidelines to select methods and you have here surrogate based global, surrogate based local and efficient global ego but that we already saw, but now we're going to see in more details. Also, you are, if you are curious about the theory here, you have some Dakota theory and then you will have surrogate models, some theory there, but also you have advanced topics and I think here advanced method yes you have some theory also about surrogate based local and surrogate based global and just to point out something local will be we're going to create that meta model and then it's going to 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 think the region where it's searching something like this you're moving shrinking shrinking until you get to that optimal value if it reaches it uh surrogate base local tends to be a little bit more expensive because it's doing some sampling there and doing a yeah, a lot of sampling here, reducing or expanding, contracting the area. And until reaching the, the minimum, the local minimum is not going to reach the global. Then you have global, the global method. The global method does not does that. It will be globally. Okay, so that one, it will reach a global, but it does not warranty co convergence. Half, uh, the convergence race is worse than the than the local. But in any case, between these two, I prefer the global. Everything depends on the da data that you are feeding to the method. So that being said, uh, let me go here. So remember the study types, optimization. You can get some basic theory. Uh, then the auctions, uh, some basic options see some da, 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 da. then you click there for instance surrogate global and you are going to see the auctions and so on okay so feel free to visit documentation so let me go here and address a little bit some theory here some basics so we're already covered but surrogate based optimization basically consists first you need to explore your design space. Okay, you need to do some sampling. Uh, a reminder here, I'm showing just two, two, two dimensions or two variables just to simplify sense, but here you can have many variables. Okay, so multivariate problem. Then using this data, you construct a meta model. There are many models, can be linear, quadratic, cubic, uh, splines, creation, which is the one I like now, the Gaussian, Gaussian process. Uh, neural networks and so on. There are many methods, there are many of them implemented in, in Dakota. So after you have this, basically you are going to do the optimization at the surrogate level. So you don't need to go anymore to the high fidelity simulations. You stay into this model that you have a mathematical description and the cost is zero. However, the quality of your solution, whatever you get, depends in this model. So when we go here, we're going to do some distinction. You can do the global optimization, the local, remember the global, you take everything and then you're going to, to find the globals and the local then is going to create some small regions and keep concentrating in, in those regions. But all, but that is an iterative method. You are using what is called infilling. Okay. You add new observations to improve your survey. Then you can do another uh, you can take a, another approach, which is just construct the surrogate and optimize, no infilling. So here you really believe that you have a really good surrogate and you do that. And that is super fast, probably will be the most efficient technique, but not always works when you have highly nonlinear problems or not enough sampling. That surrogate is not good enough. Okay, so that can be done as well. 
Uh, and I'm going to show you all the way. So that is no infilling or no optimize or the one that you cross fingers and you hope to get to that solution. Uh, to get that surrogate now you need to do the design space exploration. There are different techniques. I already make the, the distinction between DOE and DASE. DOE basically physical experiments that you do at repetition there. So usually we focus in DASE and then you have the multidimensional study that in theory will be the best one because you have uniform spacing, but it can be extremely expensive when you start to get more design variables. I have to point out when you construct a surrogate using this, uh, this sampling, uh, it is very fast, very efficient. So you, you, you can try it and have something random like this, something uniform like this, and use different techniques and you will see in the computing time and the quality that this is much better. So if you can afford this, do it. So we receive revisit this decision matrix and well at the end of the day we have the multi-objective the most expensive one so you focus in derivative free method we have seen that is the mulga and then surrogate just to reduce the computational cost but everything will depend on the quality of the data that you have in the surrogate you now coming back to this machine learning stuff and so on then non-expensive no non-smooth and expensive recommended surrogate but you can also use derivative and then non-smooth and expensive Again, derivatives, we have seen that is the best one, but you can also use grading. But in any case, it's a guideline. It's up to you to find uh, the best uh, the, the best approach. So now let me come back to this. Uh, so here, just to explain better the steps. So we start here in a sampling plan. Okay, you cover your design space. You construct a surrogate and then we do this step. Okay, this step is very important. It's called exploit and optimize. So here we're doing infilling. Remember that I mentioned that it can be with no infilling or with infilling. So imagine that you do this, construct the surrogate, and then you optimize. You get this point and this point, but you know this data is noisy. So what we do is infilling and we can take this point and this point and we can retrain our sur surrogate. So it's improved in field. So in this case here, it is the optimization using whatever method. And then you get these two points and then you use these points to improve the surrogate. And additionally, we added three more points here. So see the difference. And this is the idea when we use the global and the local method using Infidium. And you can see that this is more efficient. It's an iterative method. And I have to say that if you have a good starting point in this surrogate, it will take like 10 iterations to get the good solution. And something similar, it is the ego, by the way. The ego is something similar, but in the ego, we start from, 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 from a scratch. But to make the distinction between the surrogate global and local, surrogate global and local will use the objective function to improve your surrogate. Instead, the ego will use something that is called an acquisition function to improve the surrogate. It is not the objective function, it will be the quality of the surrogate. So we'll look for this expected uh, improved function or the variance to improve this. And so usually to uh, uh, to exploit or, or improve the surrogate, we will look to this expect, uh, expected improvement function. And then to explore the surrogate, it will look at the variance. Later, we're going to see what, what is that. And just to show you here, finally, that with the feeling we have this, we added five points, something much better. Instead, is you go and you don't add in feeling. Look at that, you have some error there. But also, if you do everything at the level of the high fidelity simulation, you don't know what is happening. Okay. So the idea of doing this sort of is having also an idea of your design space and reduce at the same time the computational cost. So that's all that I wanted to show you. And now also to show you, to clarify something about Ego. And I found this, this very nice big uh, image in the internet. So all this method of Ego, efficient global optimization, they pretty much do, do the same. So imagine that you have this function and look at that. You have these error bars. Those error bars represents some confident interval, which will be this uh, expected improvement function. So basically what is doing the ego, whatever you have, the larger, it maximize the EIF, okay, the expected improvement function, whatever. So whatever you have the maximum, it will add a point there because it knows that will get the, the largest improvement. But also 
you can add these exploration points or another some points that you can use the variance. Also, you check whatever you have, the largest variance, and then put those points there. So this is basically what is happening. It will start to add points where it can improve, you know, get the largest improvement, and it will get you know, by iterating a better, a better, a better, and, and a better surrogate. So this is what is going on. So now let, let's go and let's run the case. So let me go to surrogate based optimization ego. Okay, so this, let's say it is in line in the sense that it, we're going to construct a surrogate, but then in, we're going, it's going to do some optimizations in, in that surrogate. So let's revisit the, the script and here, uh, read me file, sometimes I put some comments there. So if we look at the, the Dakota case, pretty much it will be the same. Let me raise here. So this is a keyword now, it's efficient global. And when you define this method, you need to give initial samples, uh, samples for the problem. So this is the, 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 the design ex, uh, space exploration that you do to construct your surrogate. So here there are a few guidelines. So one very common guideline is 10 times your number of uh, design variables. So in this case, we have four, we, we have 40. However, sometimes it, you can fall short and there are some other techniques. So this is the default one using Dakota. If you don't give anything, Dakota will do this. So in this case, it will use 15. A method like I, I like to use actually, is I like to do this two times D plus one to the power of two plus a delta. Okay, so as you see, this one is a quadratic, so it will add more points. So for this same case, it will do about a hundred iteration. But then this delta depends. This depends of what you know of your problem. So if you know that if you have an extremely nonlinear problem, extremely noisy, that unreliable, this delta, by the way, can go between zero zero and one. Okay. Well, in theory, you can put it largest, but you will see that this will become incredibly prohibitive. So basically this is what you do. So in the case that you, you have a smooth, del, a smooth data and a small data set, you put zero, it is to the square. If you start to have some noise there and data not, not very reliable, you can go 0 0.5, 0 0.3 or to the maximum that one which would be qubit. So let me leave this one here. Okay, so this is, let, let me put the comment there and this is the method I use for, let's say, noisy and um, unreliable data. Okay, so there are many techniques, but there, let's move. Let, let, let's move. So then we go here, you have this seed. Okay, so this is to, to, to put the randomness in your data. And this is important keyword, batch size. So this is the parallelization in your method. So here you have the comment. Okay, so if you don't put anything, we'll do it sequential. So remember, it's important that to exploit that parallelization here. So this one acts directly in your expected improvement function. Remember, ego is not the objective function, it is this. So in this case, we put 12 and it's going to run 12 evaluations and to try to improve that. And then you have exploration. Exploration is the portion of this batch that you want to dedicate to explore. So the exploration is based in the variance, in the maximum variance. So whatever in the in your surrogate you have the largest variance, you 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 it will add exploration. So my advice is to put some points there. So let's do I'm going to run 12 batch, four of them is exploration. In my personal experience, this will be like in machine learning that you do 80% is your training data, 20% is will will be your validation data, your challenge data, something like that. And I recommend you to put some 20 or 30%. I have found in my personal experience that is better. But in any case, later you can try no batch size, different exploration, and you will see the, the, 
the different disks. You can check in the documentation. I'm not going into detail. Then save your model there. Uh, another important comment. So to do the, the, the sampling, uh, efficient load optimization use uh, LHS method to do that. And to do the optimization, it use the direct method. If you know what is the direct, just go to the documentation. It's a very nice method. It's not the best choice, but so far the developers, they don't expose this option. So, so far it's, it's fixed to direct. Hopefully in future, future versions, you, you can change it. Now, for instance, I know Mats is fantastic. And then you have the no pack and so on that also have, uh, they're very promising and the rest it is very familiar variables, then interface you have, in this case, they have 12 cores. And remember th this case also, uh, if I would recall the parallelization, it scales, uh, two times the number of design variables, if I'm not mistaken. So if you have four design variables, the maximum will be, uh, will be eight, but everything is due to this direct method. Okay. Then the L, the Latin hyper sampling is as large as it can be, uh, as it can be the direct have that limitation. Okay. So, and the rest is pretty much the same. Nothing changed. Simulator is create pretty much the same. Nothing changed. So be careful that you have to be foolproof and let's run the case. So we run in this usual way. So I always put here at the beginning. So to save the trace and the log files and so on. And I am in the run directory. So this case will be a SBO ego. And let me go here. I'm fantastic. It is running. So hopefully this will be relatively fast. And if you look here first at the beginning, it will create the sampling for the surrogate. So we select here, if I will recall 40 and using this 40 is going to generate the surrogate and then it's going to do, uh, the infilling according to the values that were signed, that were signed eight for the expected improvement function and four for the exploration for the maximum values. So at this point I will let it run and let's see what we get. Okay. So we have a solution here. Let me look at the folder and look at that. We have 112 function evaluations. Also, uh, we can look at the, uh, at the trace here. You can see everything, but whenever you see this one, see here that it's where it is constructing the, 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 the surrogate. So also cat table, no. Okay. Table. So here we have all your output. Uh, and uh, if we look at the output in the log file at the very end, you're going to have the best solutions. And here you have first 112 new evaluations. It was looking at the surrogate and where it found that the points where it can be improved, it was adding those new points that surrogate was increasing, increasing, it was getting better. And it was doing optimization, optimization there until getting the value. And look at what we have here. I guess at this point, you know, very well, that this is our value man of 0, 05, 0, 05, 0, 25 and close to zero and a low drag. So, and you have there 66, uh, just to show you to be sure. And there you go, our usual shape and well, you can have all your fields and so on. So it's a fantastic method. I really like the method. Then probably you might think that you have a lot of function evaluations there, but everything now depends a lot in these values that you put here in particular, this bash size exploration size. So you can play with those values, honestly, uh, uh, 
when it comes to bash size let's say to the maximum that you can do for the uh for the initial sampling then you you will have the limitation with the with the data and this one also do something 20 30 percent it's a it's a good value and it, it will do so but I'm not going to say too much iteration, but it's going to, to run a few iterations and it's going to get that surrogate is a very nice solution. I really like this method. So let me cancel the, there, everything. And this is my preferred method, I have to say, when it comes to surrogate based optimization. Uh, if you go here, you have a few folders where I put a, a few solutions. Here you have a common different outputs. So I really did the, the, the experiments with notch bat size, small initial uh, sample size, and see that it, with 26 evaluation managed to get a good solution. Then you change parameters, larger batch size, because here there's no batch size when you, you don't define anything, it will use the full values that are well optimized. So there you have different options. Okay, so feel free to play, but you can see that depends a lot in those initial auctions. Uh, you can also rip an initial surrogate. So I think I have the auction initial samples that I, I didn't rip, but you can also rig an initial surrogate and kind of start for, from that one. Okay, so maybe have the comment there. I didn't put it. Yeah, okay, now the egg, I think, no, it, it, it is dynamic. Uh, for the global that the one that now that we're going to do this one we can read it okay but i have to check i don't recall so now let's move to surrogate based global so global is pretty much the same as the as the previous one but now instead of looking at the expected improvement function and the variance we're going to look at the uh at, at the uh quantity of interest so might not be the best metric to uh, retrain your surrogate, but it works. Okay, so let's let's look at the case. So also here, this will be a little bit tricky to understand, or it can be a little bit confusing because there is some spaghettification here when it comes to to the method. So let me explain you that. So look at that here. Now here you need to use these pointers. Previously, uh, I didn't use pointers. I mentioned there are optionals here. It is important to add pointers. So you can go to the documentation to get a better idea of this pointer, but look at those pointers. This will for you will be a copy and paste. So we have this environment that is going to point, have this name, this ID method is pointing. So imagine that you have connectors. This connects here. Then this method, okay, it will point to another point method called grad. Okay, so this is the idea of this method, which happens to be the same here. So this one will point to grad and surrogate. So here you define that you want to use surrogate based global. Okay, this is where you define, okay, I want to use global or I want to use local was the ego was different. So here you need to define that. So this one points to grad in grad and using the method that I want to use to optimize my surrogate. So you can put anything here. So I'm using common, but it's the one you can put a, a MOGA or whatever, whatever you want. Okay. It is compatible with all the optimizers, all the iterators. So here I'm pointing to grad and then surrogate, it will point, it will point to the method where I construct the surrogate. So I see that you have these two pointers. Then you can limit the iterations and so on. You can play with this auction or look for those words in the documentation. So now we move here. So look at that. This one ends here. You have no other pointer. So this is the method that is linked to this. So they are at the same level, let's say. So now this one surrogate and it will point to Adasa. So get the idea. So here you're constructing a surrogate, but at the same time, this surrogate is going to point to Adasa experiments that it will do the infilling. So at the level of this surrogate, you use this method surrogate global, and then you choose any of the methods available. 
my advice is to stay with with the surf pack this one is creating interpolation it's very efficient in this particular case also it's very problem dependent you need to kind of find the best options but these options are okay then you have a correction that you can apply to that surrogate or the data that you are reading so go to the documentation to get an idea but for me this is an standard input and then you have these options you have minimum points that is the minimum number of points that is going to to add so will be not necessarily will would be that but this will be the absolute minimum if it's a if it stops fast so it will be the number of design variables plus one so it will do four uh, five in this case or recommended points if you don't give anything will be about 20. so this will be the minimum number of points for infilling okay not necessarily will do the will will do exactly this number we can do more okay so i will run the, the array around this case and i know with minimum points it will get the solution but also with recommended points or you have another option total points i think so let me let me go look here in the documentation so just to show you that you can go here minimum points and here you have global, the surrogate, and you have the auctions, all the auctions that you can take. And look at that, for instance, you have total points, and if you want to do 100 in feelings, just put that. So it's up to you. But not necessarily will start at those points. So usually I, I leave it recommended points and don't put anything. And you have more options that I say if import points, export points, so on. So feel free to visit that. So, and now here, I am just. Minimum uh, create the surrogate and I want to import some data and this is something very important. So in this case, I already run uh, a design experiment and I have this multidimensional data, 1200 points. So I will use this one to, to construct an initial surrogate and then do the infilling in that, in that. Okay, so I have a very good starting point. So first, let me do it here. And now, and then we're going to do it without this. Okay, so you have the two options. You can read some data that you already have, or you can go, you comment this when you don't have anything, and you construct your surrogate. So this is, in this case, this is what, what we're doing. We're reading the data, already have the location there, the data preparing the right format. So be careful that the columns, I put some comments there, how the columns needs to be. So open the data. And now remember that this one is, open to is pointing to that so here you have i have my data so this model pointer is called truth because it will do some truth evaluations okay so it's important to use this name by the way and then as i'm reading data i put sample zero okay i don't want to generate my initial sampling i don't want to generate any data so i put it to zero in the next case that we're going to do that we're go not going to read this you need to give a number to construct that there so you read the data and then this is pointing to a mobile truth and here you have this model and this model will point to these interfaces there are now these three pointers that a standard case as we have done variables interfaces and response nothing changed uh to point out that you start to see here how things can get a little bit complicated and how important can be these pointers and id tags so see that model in this model we have we have different options so you can have more complex models here and since it start to point so a single model can point to many things and you can get an idea that you can point to different methods and two octa optimizers or iterators you can link it in a single model and so on so this is the idea of this stuff it's very advanced i don't do it very often just for surrogate and this is it okay uh now that's wrong but just to show you that the data i have the data here and this data i run first my design space exploration and there you go so you have it in this format then the comments that are, are there in the column so here you have for instance in the header custom annotated header evil id interface so see that i have evil id and interface i have these two columns sometimes it might happen that you don't have evil id interface so you have some other options so you mention what you have you don't have just go to the documentation for that so at this point i'm done Okay, and let me launch 
this one. So let me go to the right directory. So this is SBO global. We seen feeling, then there is the other option, knowing feeling. So it's just simply this okay, and that's all. So I'm not going to visit that one. Actually, it is a little bit tricky because you need to the 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 the, the input file is a little bit different. But then how to get the data from the sorogate? Okay? Also, you need to work it out. Here it is incomplete my solution because I don't do it very often. Or if I do it, I use I do it in another way. So maybe. I, We'll create another video for that. So now let's run this case. And always here, I like to save my whole trace. I put it there and off you go. So see that it, it read the surrogate and now it's creating experiments. So these are experiments to improve the surrogate. So remember that we mentioned that we have, I put the auction minimum. Okay. So if, if it finds the solution in those minimum, it will stop. Otherwise it will run a little bit more. So let's see that. Look at how good is this that actually I have a very good surrogate. Remember that. 1200 points. So, well, it's not a very good, but it's something good. I have a lot of data. So it just in six. In filling iterations, it managed to improve that surrogate. In this case, it's using the objective function. Remember, it's not looking at the expected improvement function. And then you have the solution. Now you have some information of the iterations here. So these are the iterations of the commit the method I'm using. And I need to look at the output here. So there are a few files that I want to show you these. And use it at the very end. So look at here at the beginning is reading the surrogate. So all these points are the points that are contained in the surrogate. So let me go. Okay, so we're here. So it read the surrogate. And then surrogate model retrieve, it construct the running surrogate, it will construct the surrogate. So the construction of that surrogate due to this data that is very well uniform. It's very uniform. It's quite fast. And now these are the new points that is adding to improve that surrogate. So then after adding those new points, it will do more function evaluation, but all this function evaluation, be careful. This is done at the level surrogate. So it will add some points and then many functions evaluation, but at the surrogate level. So look at that. You have large values there, but many of those are at the surrogate level. So when you look at the end of this file, you, you, you get the summary. And in this summary, you have that information. So this is new points on the surrogate. Okay, so this is your surrogate. And then your iterator duplicates are points that were evaluated at the surrogate. And it just added a new six new points. Okay. So this is your surrogate. And then this is I one. So see that I one, remember that I one, no, I see. Okay. I have it here. Let's see interface one. Okay. So what you are getting for interface one, and then the rest is from, from the surrogate that you are getting. And when you move here, 99, repeat it that is going there and the six function evaluation and this is the value that we get here okay the best parameter so it's not so good okay so now ta, 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 well, it was super fast okay let me clean out a little bit this to show you know that the dependence in the surrogates and everything so let me go here and let me change something. And instead of reading this, this one, let me read this one. This is smaller one. Okay. Actually, I'm a little bit surprised because this should, should give me a good surrogate. So uh, let me run this one now, a different surrogate. Okay. And let's see what happens.
Okay, so now I have another solution. Still, it was relatively fast. I already see that this is the right solution. And contrary to the previous case that it was only six iterations here, it did 10 iterations to get that. So now let's, let's take a look at, uh, at what at our output here. You said it like to go to very end. And here you have, this is our solution. So see that now we have and a smaller surrogate, a little bit contradictory, but I will bring back this topic that remember overfitting. So, so you have done so much in learning, but, but this is not coming just for that field, but just bringing that everybody's doing that stuff today, that there is overfitting. So the other data set, it was over overfitting my data. It was not so good. Now in this one, less data, I don't have that overfitting a better result. So same stuff. Okay. I read my, my points. Oh and 10 new, 10 new oh actually uh, this is okay no this is a strange okay because i think i was reading the same one or but 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 but, but. no no it appears that i read that one okay but the message is not consistent because it's telling me that it's reading more but in any case sometimes the, the, the overfitting is something that you have. So here we have a different data set and it's a better resource that we have there. And Converge iteration 10, this is our solution that we, we, we know it is the right solution. So what I want to tell you also that here you have all these files and standards. So this is where the sampling and so on, but then you have these new files, final data, truth, whatever. Uh, this is where you have the evaluation of the surrogate. Okay. So each of these surrogate that were evaluated, you have it here. So you have same 100 because it was evaluated 100 times. No, so the surrogate and also the function. So let's visit also the functional here. Uh, so here you have, uh, 105 so on repeated so this is what you're looking here all these function evaluations that you have there okay so at this point we have this solution okay i hope you're getting feeling how this works the only complicated thing here is that those pointers those pointers can be a little bit tricky you know so that is the spaghetti spaghettification that you can get there so now let's do a modification so i read in that data set so let's do so remember you can change you can throw in any method here okay there is no limitation uh let me get that and let me get for instance let me get back this one okay the one here let me go and cancel these options here just to show you so this is to optimize you now whatever you have there and now let's say that in this case i put there okay now in feeling and reading everything not what i might have wanted okay i want to use now recommended points okay so now recommended points it will do more iterations so i, I comment everything so the default option is recommended points so it will be 20. we'll do at least 20 iterations so pretty much is doing the same as the previous case but now i'm doing more iterations so user as you can imagine it will be more accurate so previously six iterations probably wasn't too much now 20 will be with more and the idea what was happening is this now it was adding those objective function now in this point probably the noise or the overfitting it was working in some other area and it converts to that solution which was a good solution okay i look at it, i know it's a good solution but probably by doing more function evaluation it will explore some other areas that remain unexplored so this is the exp exploration and exploitation of your surrogate. So at this point, that, that's why, and let's see what we have with this new action. Hopefully it will be better. Ah, actually it's done. And I already see here. Okay. So this is my final solution. 
And it is a good solution actually, but it's converging towards the other minimum. So this is 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0, but it's converging to the other solution, the solution the, that have the, the, the largest core, the airfoil. But I already can see there that I have that solution. So maybe, okay, you can use those options. And I don't recall, I have the experiments there. So let's see that I put some comments there. So for instance, if you read this data, this is a really bad data. So this sec there is an old version of the code. It's really bad data and doesn't converge. The input data, and it doesn't matter. Well, you can put a lot of sampling and it will converge, but it's like redoing the, the surrogate. Then this one, I'm reading this one, okay. And this should be this case and it should converge if I comment on actions. Okay. But in any case, let's move to the other option. So to show you that now I don't want to rewrite the data. I want to construct my surrogate. And surprisingly, this, this also works very well. So now I comment these options here. So see that I'm not reading any data. Here, let's use recommended points, but this recommended point is just when reading data, this is okay. But now it's very important here that you need to put a minimum number of observations here. So let's say that I want to do, use this criteria, you know, that is uh, 10 times here. I like to use, you no, know, 10 times D, okay and 40 function evaluation to construct this survey, and then it will start to do in feeling. And surprisingly, this, I think, if I were to recall this one, converge. Okay, so this is in the case that you don't have the, the, the previous data, okay? You want to do everything online, kind of in Diego. So let's go here, clean up. Off you go. So. Remember, first it will do the la the sampling, Latin IPQ sampling. That one, you can exploit the parallelization. You have no limitation. And then it will move and use the method that you choose here. So in this case, we're using gradient and the gradient is limited to the number of, of the same variables, the gradients that you can compute. The ego is limited to the direct method. So let's wait for this one. And actually just to show you the direct method, let me go here. So this is the direct method. Okay, but I want no. This is the direct interface, and so I want the NSCU direct. Okay, well, let me go here. Ta ta ta. Bam 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 bam. Where 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 where? Since. Okay, so you have that keyword reference and the method. And let's see, where do we have that dyed here? So the uh, dividing rectangles method is a nice method. Okay, you have the reference, so you can get an idea that it will create some rectangles and then it will look in different directions and so on. So it's a very efficient method. It's, it, it, it can scale very well. Uh, I think the common is here is two times the number of design variables, two or three times. So you have some good scalability, but I prefer the maps. Any case, let's, oh, it's already done. That, that's all surprisingly fast. And I already see here that I got the solution. So see that this one was more efficient than than doing the 600 or 1200 iteration. It constructed the surrogate with 40 iterations and then it focus after the four, 40 iterations, find more iteration and it start to move to, to the place where we have the optimal solution. So, bam, 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 bam. so let me go here. Let me open the lock out. Okay, this is the uh, EPRQ sampling. Okay, this is the one that you can exploit with the parallelization. And after that, it moves like the surrogate using that data. It moves that one using the gradient based method. And you have all the information there. 
and here you have your final solution what happened so 45 new evaluations and 95 duplicates okay so yeah it was very very efficient actually i'm quite surprised that you have that solution but however that uh what i want to point out that in this case imagine that you're constructing this surrogate it added only 40 points so those 40 points it tried to do a good coverage of your design space but then it added the new the, the extra five points it added those five points in the area where you have the minimum so that surrogate is not a very good approximation of your design space so then as you want to explore that surrogate or reduce that surrogate it might give you problems okay because that it will be very biased towards that optimal that we were lucky enough that it found that you have a global optimal in that region I, i'm pointing here to somewhere but it's not the same case okay so it's, it's it was biased to that region but it may happen that it will find that optimal here and it will start to optimize that that region so that's what happened here so as you see very good solution so now let me clean up that and feel free to play with all those options to get familiar but the most important understand those pointers because in all these surrogates all around you 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 have those pointers so now let's move to the last method and with this one we're going to cover all the optimis optimization methods that you have in the code well probably we, we we haven't covered uncertainty quantification optimization under uncertainty and so on but that is more advanced so not, let's move to local and exactly the same nothing changed the difference now when we go here remember pointers everything is pointing to something so in the previous case i didn't go through that but just revisit and you will see how things are a reference so now here we use surrogate based local previous was surrogate based global you have your pointers and this is the new entries that you have here this is now that trust region now that you are going to expand and contract so you're going to find a region or the method is going to find a region and then it's going to focus just in that region and the rest of your space it doesn't care so it will be something similar to the previous case where where we got now the the convergence in 45 so it added the new points in that region but it didn't care about the rest so here it's pretty much the same but it will add this extra complexity okay that how it expands contract and so on so you can go to the documentation just to to get that, those options and let me go so uh, 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 uh. So surrogate and this will be local. So you see that you have different options, multi-point ensemble that probably is the most complex one and it's full of pointers. So we go to local up here, local. And here you have all the options and then those options related now to, to the trust region here you have so what you can control so it's your so you are always if you are in doubt always go to the documentation so this is the only thing that now is called surrogate based local and you have these options that which by the way are optional if i will recall so it would use default values if you don't put anything then you point to the method so you can put anything there you point to your surrogate saying stuff as previous so i recommend to use these options uh, and also you can read your your starting surrogate or start from scratch so in this case i would read this data and it will focus there in this data using the trust method so here now look at that this when i have double pointer just to show you a little bit more complexity so this surrogate is pointing to this response which is repeated here is the same response but i have pointing two times so this is kind of a copy space copy and paste or we're doing all dakota open phone by the way so as you recall that in open phone sometimes you have dollar p that you copy the auction for another dictionary or whatever it's pretty much you are doing that when you put this one you are pointing to something else 
Okay, so we have it here, pointers, data truths, everything, rereading, and let's run this case. So where, let's go, da, 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 and off you go. And so to remind you what is happening here, that advanced topics and advanced methods, I think here. So basically this local is something like that. Now you have your design space, a surrogate, and you create these regions and you focus just in this region. So you initially explore all this stuff. Now you don't care. So you find your improvement here. Now the point where you're getting better and just expand contract or whatever until you get that that point so let's let's see what we have in this case Okay, so back we have a solution here and just by looking here, I know that this is the right solution. As usual, you go here. So let's see in this case, 31 function evaluations starting now from that surrogate, so that initial points that we, we fed the surrogate. And we look at here and there you go. Optimal solutions, some comments there or the evaluations and so on. So this one focused only in that region. It didn't explore anything, the rest or, or of the domain. So this one tends to be more accurate, but they are local. So if at any point you known in your design space, it will find a valley or, or a peak, it will focus on that. It's not going to move to the global. Instead, the other method, the previous one is global. So it will go to that to that solution but remember everything depends in the in the data that, that you're feeling feeding the model but also the hyperparameters you have many parameters so we saw that there, there is some dependency here so yeah we have a good solution there very efficient and let's try something else with this thing this same case so we just run the concurrency so you can pay, play with concurrency so on everything. So let me go back here. And surrogate so global is using this function and let me go and use 40 points. Let me use these auctions. And let me fi fix this one. Something important here. I'm, I'm I'm fixing now the seat number. So this is important. If you leave it, no, if you don't put anything, it will be random. And now I, I got it. The previous case that it wasn't converging, it was a random value. And depending also in, in the in this the randomness, it might converge to, to to something. Okay. So be careful about that. That you that is another variable that you can consider. So let's let me clean out that we're almost done. So this is Ta -ta 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 -ta. Give me an error, gave me an error. So sampling sin. Okay, it is sampling repeated here. Okay, so now it's running, and at this point, let's wait for the solution. Just a reminder that in this case, we're not reading the initial surrogate. So now we need more points to construct a uh, a better surrogate, but it's using the same techniques. Instead, in the previous one, we pre-generated the data and it was a very good data. So here, 40 points for the surrogate, and then it's going to do the the local search and infilling and so on. So at this point, let's wait for the solution. Okay, so we're back. So this was much more time consuming than the other cases. And I was checking here and this is now the output and already 
here, iteration S6, we already converged to the right solution. I already have the solution there. We have all the history. But what is interesting, and you can imagine that in this case, we didn't have a good surrogate, a uh, starting point, and just to revisit our case, that here we were not reading the input data, even though everything was exactly the same. Okay, we are not reading this starting point. And given the fact that we don't have a good starting point, look at that. In this case, we need to do a lot of function evaluation. And kind of this also can give you an idea of the number of function evaluation that you need to have an acceptable uh, surrogate. So this surrogate, I want to stress that it is biased. It's biased towards this optimal solution, but it's a good good surrogate that you can use it now to train a new one. But this is what we happen, what happens and that's why it was so slow. Instead, the other case when we wrecked the data, it took a few iterations. However, remember that to have that data set previously, I run a large number of iterations. So, so basically, if you go bang, 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 here, here, this data set, any of those data set already run this simulation so I already wait sometimes you now to get 625 iterations and then when you rig this surrogate you have a very good starting point there might be some noise but by adding locally very fast you can refine that or by doing globally also at that point you can do it fast instead this case that you don't read that in any of the t2 approach global or local it will try to reconstruct all the surrogates so redo it redoing all this starting point. So yes, I think with this, I cover all the most important options for surrogate, for optimization and surrogate based optimization is also is, can be a little bit tricky, confusing, you need re, uh, good resources, but I think it's, it's one of the best ways as you have seen here. You can get good solutions. Okay, also we are working with four design variables, which also is, I have to say, it is a high value and you see that you can converge with no problem, but you can design your own problems and you will see that you get good convergence you now with these methods. The tricky part is just optimizing all the parameters, getting the starting point and so on. But for me, I prefer Diego and that would be my advice. Go and use Diego if you want to stay with the with surrogate based optimization ba based on the uh, objective function, you have this too. So there are some differences also in implementation and what you can do in our surrogate based, this one global and local, you can use any iterator here. You are just uh, limited to the direct, but it's very good. Uh, I'm not talking about this one because you can imagine here, we're not using in feeling. So this is in the hope that you have a very good uh, a very good surrogate that is very difficult to get, or at least you need a lot of data. So these are the methods then, well, previous, previously videos with basic multi-objective, okay, the MOGA for multi-objective, the gradient, my choice. You, you have seen that probably that we have linked everything here, and my choice is always design, design space exploration, construct the surrogate, and then, well, you can try any of the other methods. And that's it. Okay, so we're just missing one video that will be machine learning XG boost, but basically that is training a model. Is that was what we just did here, but using another alternative. So here we use create interpolation. Here we're using no uh, gradient boosting. That is a modern technique, but in my personal opinion, it's unbeatable when you have tidy data, no ordered data, data like. In this case, you know, this multi-dimensional data set, this is perfect data. So here, machine learning techniques, they they perform really well. Now you have labeled data. Instead, it's, if your data is labeled, you go and you use network networks and so on. So yeah, this is all for this. Uh, yeah, there is a lot to see. I'm, I didn't cover some stuff, but let me know. Let me know in the comments and if you're interested in a new topic and something else. So thanks for your attention and see you next time. Bye.